God is so good. This is the house of God. It's a house of joy. Hallelujah. We cannot be coming at church. We are sitting next to each other. We are not even talking. Sometimes you don't have a pen, but you are a friend to ask the neighbor. Ah, this is the house of God. Hallelujah. We are brethren, brothers, and sisters. God is so good. Yes, we all know. I want us to read the word of God while we are all standing. We all know the theme, hallelujah, get the money, hallelujah, of our 21 days. We are coming here to share. Thank you, choir. I forgot to thank them. Yes, I'm thanking you for coming, hallelujah, because if you are not there, I don't think I will stand here. I will also go back to pray at home myself. It's because we are here, that's why I am strong because of you. Hallelujah. We are in the book of Luke, chapter 22, verse 39 to 46. As I was saying, such a privilege to fast, hallelujah, such a privilege to come. Many people, maybe since the year started, they cannot make it, they cannot fast. Do you think we are better than them? No, the grace of God. I'm thanking the leadership of the church for allowing me to share with us this portion of the scripture and to pray together with you. I am grateful. I am thanking the living God for the day, especially you for coming. Hallelujah. For fasting. As if I can say, you are also my strength. When I want to give up, I see the way you are strong. I am continuing being strong in the Lord. We are in the book of Luke chapter 22. We all know the theme, the big theme of our 21 days is get your money. I am reading in the name of Jesus. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives and his disciples followed him. We are, living, we are reading from 39 to 46. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? He asked them, get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, get up and pray. May God bless you. You might be seated. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We want you to transfer what you have laid in our hearts to your people so that we can pray together in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We all know that we have 21 days of prayer. We are coming in this place not to meet, to meet each other. We are not coming in this place to talk. But we are coming in this place to meet God. Hallelujah. This is our place of getting money in these 21 days. Hallelujah. Full of sacrifice. Hallelujah. Time of prayer. That's why I said tell your neighbor get up and pray. Time of standing up to pray. To seek God. Get the money. Since before we started, the pastor has been telling us what does it mean get a man. Get a money, I think without even saying it, you know it. A place of pressing oil. Hallelujah. A place of empowerment. And I was thinking when I while I was preparing, I say a, a place of pressing oil. It means a place of labor. Hallelujah. If I don't press, oil will not come out. 
Hallelujah. If I go to Gethsemane and I close my hand, I'm just contemplating Gethsemane, then I will lose it. I will not have the result. It's a place of labor. It's a place of strength. It's a place of empowerment. Hallelujah. Then I, I say to myself, the Lord, Jesus, the man of God, the son of God, God himself, he went to get a man. Hallelujah. Jesus could stay and sleep like the disciples, full of sorrow, saying, yo, the time has come. I have to, to, to go on the cross. I have, but he didn't stop his tooth. Hallelujah. He didn't sleep. He went to get a man. Hallelujah. A place of anointing. Then I understood for you to have oil, you must labor. Hallelujah. You have to work hard. You have to praise. A place of praising oil. Hallelujah. I don't know you're going to use your hands. You're going to use your legs. I don't know what you're going to use. But you have to work hard to have oil. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit told me. He said to me, you understand where you want to be. Hallelujah. What you have to tell them this evening. Tell my people, life, the one who told you, you know, when we gave our lives to Jesus, people were coming telling us things will be smooth. Fine. Come to Jesus. It was a lie. Hallelujah. I am here this evening to tell you it was a lie. You have to labor. Hallelujah. You have to go to get your money. You have to sacrifice. And that sacrifice is not only your spirit. Because the spirit is willing. The spirit is ready. Now you have to labor with your physical. Hallelujah. You have to work hard. What you are doing now, what I'm doing now, we are fasting, we are on our get money to have results. Jesus was God. We all know he was God. But he went to get a money. Who are you? Who am I to do not go? To do not go up to seek for God to look for God and I say why should I go to get a money because it's life as long as we are living get a money is our lives tell yourself my body strengthen yourself if not today tomorrow if not tomorrow next month if not next month in the month to come every day you have to stand strong there is no result without get a money I can say there is no success, great result without getting money. If you want, try it, make it. Be there sleeping, relaxing, and you saying, I will get it. You will not get it. We are blaming God. Today, Christians, we have become lazy. We are sitting at home. We want a prophet to prophesy. When they say this one is a prophet, you start turning around. You start walking around because you want him. You want her to pray for you, to give you the message. But it's not like that. Even though they prophesy for you, you have to do to play your part. And get a money is one of it. Because there we are praying on get a money. We are fasting. Get the money. We are seeking God. Hallelujah. To have the result. There is no result without getting money. Jesus went to pray to get more strength for the challenges that were coming. Hallelujah. It was coming. He knew the cross, the weeping. Hallelujah. The pain. He said, okay, let me go pray. Get the strength that I need to go through. How many of us are going to seek God to get the strength for the challenges that are coming? And here I'm here to tell us today, the one who told us that it will be easy, lied to us. The Lord will strengthen us to make it, to go through, but it won't be easy. Because it was not easy for Jesus. Imagine someone who came to save people, but they killed him. 
Mm. Mm. A savior. You cannot kill a savior. You have to beg the savior. You have to offer things to the savior because you came to save me. But they killed him. They nailed him on the cross. He was there. And you think for you and I, it will be easy. And we start even getting mad at God. We start even saying, I will not go. The Lord promised me, but I'm not seeing. Here this evening, I am here to tell the people who have the promises of God. Yes, get a man is for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you know that the Lord has promised you something, get a man is for you. Hallelujah. The first thing I want to tell us, Gethsemane is a place for every breakthrough. Who want a breakthrough in life? I want. Then you have to go through Gethsemane. If you want to go forward, if you want, if I want, if we want to break through, we have to go through Gethsemane. Why? Because Jesus Christ, after Gethsemane, he went to the cross. Today he is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. At the name of Jesus, every knee a bowing, but he went through, he paid the price. It's what we are doing. After this, beloved, I am sure 100% we will break through. Even if not in everything, at least in one thing. Hallelujah. Because there is no getting money without breaking through, without success, without break, great results. Hallelujah. There is no get a money. Get a money is not for my life. Ma ma mahala. Just get a money. Because in our life, because we are living, we are moving. It means in every step of our life, hallelujah. If not all the time, twice, three times, I don't know once, we will have to encounter get a money. But it's a place of pressing oil. It means it's a place where I have to suffer with my body. Hallelujah. I have to labor. Hallelujah. The disciples were sleeping. The Lord went up. When he came down, he saw them. He said, wake up. Get up. Pray. I understood. To stand up and to pray is to labor. Hallelujah. To stand up and to pray is to labor. Don't think what you are doing now in these 21 days, it's nothing. Mm -mm, you are laboring. And you cannot labor without result. Get a money. A place of sacrifice. And most of the time, get a money and you go alone. Hallelujah. You go alone for people to see the result. Jesus went himself. Hallelujah. But the disciples and all of us today, we are praising our Lord. We are seeing the result of what he did. But he went there alone. Hallelujah. It's a place for your life, for my life. If we can meet, oh, sister, Joel, are you here? It's your getting money. Okay, me also, I came. Yes. But you came for yours. I came for mine. And we are meeting together. Doesn't matter. There are times we will not meet. You are alone. But it is for great results. Getting money is a place of strength. Getting money is a place of to move from one step to another. Hallelujah. I want results in my life. I want to break through. Then I cannot just sit and cry like everybody. I cannot just sit and think like everybody. Let me move on. How do I move on? Through prayer. Jesus went to get a money to pray. I said to myself while I was writing, it's a hiding place for open results. Hallelujah. A hiding place for open results. 
when I'm there praying, when I'm there fasting, when I'm there seeking for God, maybe people are not seeing me. They will just see the open result and they will all say, wow. There is no wow without prayer. There is no wow without sacrifice. You know, let me give you this, small, this, this small example. If a child come or at the university, they say you made it. You made it 90%. Everybody will say, wow, wow, wow. But yourself, you know the price to pay for that result. That's why I say it's a hiding place for open results, for great results. Everybody will see the result. They will start putting their hands together. They will start applauding, congratulating. You did it well, but yourself, you know the sacrifice. Sometimes you can pray, uh, cry. People are so happy, but you are crying because you are thinking, what, are, what happened overnight? While well, it was winter, everybody was sleeping. You were there standing and praying. You were there studying for the results. Most of, most of the time, we don't see the getting money where people are going to. We just see the result and we put our hands together for the people. We don't know the sacrifice. And one thing, another thing that I notice, get a money will never stop. As long as we are living, as long as we are moving, as long as we are going, hallelujah, get a money will always be there. You have to go to the place of prayer. You have to go to the, if I don't go today, if today I receive what I'm expecting from God, tomorrow I will need something else. That's why I cannot stop. Then I have to go again in the same place, pressing oil. Hallelujah. In the same place of labor to pray again. For this, I want you, Lord, to do this for me. Challenges will never stop. It will never stop. I was following the man of God, Pastor Marcelo. He said, it's what I want to tell you now, but I'm quoting him just, I changed the word. He said, look at Jesus. He went, but he was not talking about getting money, something else. Me now, I'm putting it on getting money. Jesus went to get a money, right? So that he wins. And he won the victory on the cross. But he finished. He is sitting at the right hand of the Father. But he's not resting. What do you want to rest? You, church, wife, you made him an intercessor. Every day, he's sitting there talking to the Father for us, interceding for the Father. But you, you want to relax. Hallelujah. Isn't it so nice? Isn't it so wonderful sitting at the right hand? But he didn't stop. He didn't stop. He didn't. He's sitting there. He didn't stop. He's praying. He's interceding to tell you, you will never stop getting money. You can say, amen, I got this one, but tomorrow another one is waiting for you. Then you have to go up again to pray. You have to go up again to press oil, to, to, to ask for the strength. By the way, we need strength every day. Hallelujah. In the life on earth, as we are living, we need strength every day. Every day. Every day. If you don't have strength, you cannot move on. You, know, you need strength to stand up, to wake up the morning. When you wake up, you need strength to get out of the bed. Hallelujah. To start moving, to start doing what you have to do then why do we want to stop for God? We need getting money every day to get the strength, the, the strength that we need for our lives. Life doesn't stop 
after the first Gethsemane, then I have to continue. If Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, he's praying, he's interceding for us, why do we want to stop? After getting what you have today, you will need something new for tomorrow. Then you have to go to labor, to sacrifice, to pray. That's why every day when you wake up, say, Lord, more strength. More strength for the new challenges. Let me tell you, yesterday challenges will not be the same like tomorrow challenges. By the way, your self-check. If yesterday you were grade 10, next year you will be grade 11. You need new anointing strength for tomorrow. It's the same. When you have today, you thank the Lord, but tomorrow you need more strength. And why do I need more strength to go higher? I don't want to stay at the same place. Hallelujah. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want to go higher. That's why we need more strength. We need to go to get a money. Hallelujah. The place of empowerment. To get empowered to move on. To get empowered to work. To get empowered to do things. To get empowered to succeed. To succeed. Success. You need to get empowered. Then, when I was preparing, I was reading, the king Jehoshaphat came in my mind to Chronicles chapter 20. I want us to read verse 3. I want easy version if you do have it. You don't have easy. Okay, I have it. I knew you don't have it. Because it's easy, you don't. You want difficult thing. I bought mine. I knew. I said, I never seen them putting easy because it's easy. But you can put any version maybe. It will be the same with what I'm reading. It's so easy. This is the third point I want to talk. The first one we say, it's a place, a life, hallelujah, a place or a life for every breakthrough. If you want a breakthrough, you need it. You need get the money. And we say, because life is not stopping, because I'm living, I need get the money every day. Hallelujah. I no, I say because life doesn't stop after the first get the money. If I'm having challenges of if I will go again. Hallelujah. My life is about going in a place where I have to work hard to labor for great results. The third thing, thing we want to see this king. Okay, I'm reading then you will look for the one which is close. Jehoshaphat was afraid. Verse 3. So, he decided to ask the Lord what he should do. Hallelujah. I love it. How many times in life we are afraid? Hallelujah. It happens. Sometimes there are people, they are afraid, but they don't say it. Hallelujah. For what I'm going through, I am afraid. But I don't know what to say. When I'm thinking, I am afraid. But I don't know. I love this version because he said, yes, you have it. He was afraid. New English translation also. Okay. Jehoshaphat was afraid. So he decided to seek. Hallelujah. He decided to seek the Lord's advice. Hallelujah. In life, how many times we are afraid? This is the right place, the right moment when you are afraid to go to get a man. Hallelujah. Are you afraid? Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you one best decision you have to take. 
is to go to Getemani. He decided to go. We can say he decided to go to Getemani. He decided to go higher. He decided to go to the place of strength. He decided to go to the place of labor to find the solution. The Bible said to seek the Lord's advice. We have to go. We have to seek God. We have to take the right decision. Beloved, I'm here to tell us this evening, the right and best decision in life is to go to God, is to seek God, is to go to Him, to tell Him, Lord, I want your advice. Advise me. And we all know the story. When we're going to have time, we're going to share again on what the man did. Hallelujah. Time to war, time to fight. He decided to worship. Time to war, time to fight. He decided to do this. But today, I want us to stop was afraid. The king was afraid. You know, in life, we think a king cannot be afraid. Because he has everything. It's what we think. But they can. When war is coming... When the country is not stable or the kingdom, the king got afraid. It happens also in your life, my life. We are going through, there are things, challenges coming to us that make us to be afraid. What should I do now? But you remember in the book of Joshua chapter, chapter 1, I think verse 6, the Lord said, don't be. I think the man knew. I, I'm afraid now I have to go to God because the Lord said don't be afraid Joshua ch chapter 1 verse 6 be strong and brave no I think then this is another version there is a version that say don't be afraid in the version I'm looking NLT I don't know check it or easy still it says i don't know it, verse 5 don't be afraid he said to joshua don't be afraid this evening the lord is telling someone here they say be strong and brave but there's the one that said don't be afraid the people who go to get a man are the people who are not afraid because i don't know how i will handle it then i have to go to god I have to go talk to the father. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Be strong. Be strong. Because God is with you. Yes, be strong and do not be afraid. Easy version say that. Be strong and do not be afraid. You will lead these people to take the land that is the land that I promise to give to your fathers. Most of the time, we even go to God, we question God, not being afraid of the Creator. We go, we are asking Him, Why this happened? I gave my life to you. I am now this. I am now. It's wrong. We have to know challenges will be there. But here I'm here to tell someone, go to Gethsemane, seek the right decision to go seek for God. Knowing the Lord will help you. Knowing the Lord will advise you. And I love it. I love our God. You know why I love him? He has different advices for different people. You, he will tell you, pray. This one will tell him worship. This one is fast. This is our God. He said to him we all know the story. He said to him uh, don't be afraid. I will fight for you. I will, I will. You know because he went to get the money. He went to seek for God. Beloved this evening I want to tell us one of the right decisions that we have to take is to seek for advice. 
coming from God. It's to go to get a man. The place of sacrifice. I say to you, most of the time when we go to get a man, we are alone. But the results are for everybody. To be happy, to congratulate, to say you did it, you made it, but you were there alone. Get a money is a place of forgiveness for rest. But before you rest, you have to forgive. This one came in my mind when I was, you know, closing. I said, now I have to close because we have to pray. The Lord said to me, say, tell my people, most of the time, ah, thank you, Holy Spirit. We forget the small things that are very important. Hallelujah. Because the Holy Spirit was telling me, get a man, it must be your custom. Hallelujah. The way it was for Jesus, it was Jesus' custom to go and pray. But he said to me, us, what we are doing today, we are going to get a money. The pastor spoke about it the first day, but so quick, then I took it to say it again. With everything in our heart. Here, I squeezed Brother Christopher because that day he didn't give me the lift. And Brother Christopher doesn't know he's in my heart here. And here, I make sure Fabrice is we put a lot in our hearts but because it's our custom hallelujah to pray to seek god we are just coming like that beloved get a money is also a place of forgiveness hallelujah i want the lord to do good unto me but i'm going to god knowing that i didn't forgive this one i didn't forgive this one but lord do it for me Imagine, imagine just Jesus when he was going, when he will come down, he'll find the disciples sleeping. He will tell them, get up, pray. But he didn't go taking the disciples in his heart, saying, these people, they don't know what I'm going through. They don't know, but they are sleeping. Uh -uh. He was waking them up. Wake up, wake up, pray. Get up, pray. It's a place of forgiveness. We are fasting. We are saying it's our custom. You know, in our church, we fast, we pray. But how do we fast? We are coming to seek for God. Well, I don't, I, I know, um, oh no, there are people who you can hear, who, even Christians, saying, you and me, only in heaven. <laughs> the other day I was thinking about it. In heaven, you will go. <laughs> but because I'm not Jesus, it's Jesus who knows. It's God who knows. But what I know, the Bible says, I have to forgive. Hallelujah. And then also my Father in heaven will forgive me. But as we can come and fast, but I don't forgive you. And we are, you will see here, you know, believers saying, you and me, you and me only in heaven but when it's fast they are fasting for 21 days we have to check ourselves when we are going to get your money when I have some one wrong hallelujah something that tight me because I say Lord forgive me as quick as possible I want to go and seek your advice I want to go. Sometimes you don't know, but you are there to pray. And the Lord said, you know, you did wrong to that one. Ah, ah. Okay, Father, tomorrow I will meet him. I will meet him. I will ask for forgiveness. Then we move on. That's why we are praying. We are fasting. Things are not changing. And we are blaming God. We are blaming God. 
the forgiveness came the last. The Lord said to me, tell my people, the one who is laboring, who is pressing oil, must have a forgiving heart. Because that's a small thing, but that hinders us to see God. We want to pray. We are coming to pray. It's 21 days of prayer and fast. We are leaving our houses. Why this time of prayer? Because there are people who came straight from work. Hallelujah. You didn't have time to pray during the day. We are giving you the opportunity to pray with us. But you have been fasting. We know you can maybe just pray for 30 seconds. But now, here we want to pray. Getimani is a place for every breakthrough. You want a breakthrough? You must be a man and a woman of Getimani. A man and a woman of prayer. A man, of, and, a, a man and a woman who is going up to be empowered by God. Hallelujah. We say again, Getimani will never stop. Why? After the, these 21 days, I'm relaxing. No, life of prayer, life of Getemana Lord will continue because challenges will never stop. Hallelujah. And we say, the third thing, when you are afraid, you know life, life when it comes, ne? life comes with challenges. Know what to do. There is a verse that says, don't be afraid. Be strong. And do not be afraid. You have to go seek for the Lord's advice. Because it's better. He knows all the strategies. It's going to help how to handle things. And the last thing we say, people, men and women of Ketemani are men and women who live with forgiveness. The heart is full full of forgiveness because I don't want you I don't want the anger I don't want the wrong that you did to stop me to encounter God what a waste if you are fasting for 21 days and God knows that you ah, gee, don't follow Tina she's playing I'm not there I know what no it's a waste it's a waste that's why we say we have to check ourselves we have to check ourselves. We cannot go in and get the money in the presence of God with tight people in our heart. Hallelujah. You are going so heavy. This one is there, this one is there, this one. And you are coming to look and you will say after 21 days, oh, we are just fulfilling the church willing. No, it was you. Lies here. Do this, this wrongdoing here. No. We want to leave it. Lord, forgive me. Let us go. If it to God, I ask God. If to a man, I go to a man. As quick as possible. Then it's the four points we want to pray this evening. We want to pray. Take the right position. Be ready. Because we are here to pray. We are fasting and praying. We are not only fasting. If you are only fasting, thank you because you are strong in starving. We are not starving. We are fasting and praying. That's why we are closing. We are having a lot of time in prayer. A lot of time in prayer. A lot of time in prayer. 